Hey! Shut up! Guess who's back? Sh shut up! They don't need to guess nothing. Yeah, that guy's back. No, they, they don't know me. Hi. The hell do you have a rabbit on your face? Shh! It makes me run faster, leave me alone. That's, that's redundant. How, anyway. sir? Hi, I'm back. The only source of real entertainment on this channel. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. Uh... Shut up, because all, all you do is. Uh... Uh, we're gonna do something special for you guys, and uh, and uh, this guy is gonna do everything. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and collect some things while my friend. Enigma, Deviant, or whatever he wants to go by. My fucking Skype crashed again! That too, and... <laughs> so he's... Gonna... Talk... I don't know how to close this, I forgot, I think... Hold on, I'll be right back. Uh, keep recording, yeah. I'll be, I'll be back. And I'm back. Shut up, you're fucking dumb. So is this guy. No! No! For like a minute, I was, he was like, Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? And I was like, Yes, I hear you! And then like, a minute later, he was like, Hey, um, so wait a minute. You can hear me, but I can't hear- No, I can't hear you, but you can hear me. I was like, What? You're fucking dumb because we hear each other, and he's like, Hello? 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 And I'm like, Shut up, you're dumb. And now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Don't, don't you ever, ever say that again. <laughs> oh my god, you know what's gonna happen? What? <laughs> my Skype is gonna crash again. I'm not even gonna hit full screen anymore, I'm fucking dumb. So I'm just collecting stuff, and Rondi here, my good old friend Rondi's gonna collect- I mean, not, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Who's Rondi? What? Ronnie's not here. Who are you? You're not Ronnie. I'm that guy in a hat, McGee. Enigma I don't guy. Know. Oh, Enigma. You sound like he my friend Ronnie. He has a hand, and that looks really, really, you know. Enigma here is gonna tell you. Should no I buy that mask? <laughs> I bought a bag, bag of weed. Marijuana, marijuana. Marijuana. Juana. Skype crash. Just, 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 just let it go. Just let it go. Okay. It, no, it's still running. I'm, I'm fucking around. Okay. okay. So. Yeah, so, Roundy, what shall you. Shall you continue with the lore moment? No, because I want to give them. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Okay. So, <coughs> uh, before you start, let me get them some bases. Fuck are you interrupting me for? Cause I can. You're so mean. Yo, you lucky this guard is holding me back. Yo, fight me. You know what's funny? In this world, in order to leave town, you just need a sword and you become a man. What? Isn't that how it is back? No, no, I'm not saying it. Anyway. You know, back... <laughs> so, there's some themes in Majora's Mask that some may never know. I wasn't even gonna talk about Majora's Mask. Fuck this game, I don't like this game. That too, see? This is why people don't know a lot of stuff, because that's their attitude towards everything. No, I was gonna talk about my channel. Hey guys, you guys should go to my channel, youtube.com slash enigmaxdisciple. It's in the description below. self plugging motherfucker. Yay. Yeah. That's if I remember. That's Y-O-U-T-U-B-E dot aka period C-O-M backslash enigma E N I G M A X D I C S C P L E and because I'm better than him. Really, Randy? Yep. 
Anyway, continue on. I'm not gonna talk to you again. There's some themes. Shut up. In Majora's Mask. That uh very depressing and it made me cry when I heard about it. You're a fucking pussy. Psst, run. Hey, Enigma. Enigma. What? What? I'm being dramatic. Hey, guess what? I don't care. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that guy looks like you. I'm not fat. <laughs> it looks like you you ever get more really obese. I'm not fat. He looks like Spoh. You're making me forget the song. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 I and I, I took can, the mess. Are you talking so I can read? Oh, so my friend Enigma is going to explain this in our little montage. The speed up. So enjoy. The fuck am I? Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Majora's Mask begins as a story of loss. Link has parted ways with Navi, his dear annoying douchebag of a friend, and his grief sets out to find her. As if to emphasize the death of a feeling of loss, his trip takes him deep into the lost woods at the very fringes of Hiaru, where he encounters the Skull Kid. A character who friends scorn him and cast him away. This chance meeting drags Link into Terminal, a land wrecked by death and grief, where Link is forced to face his own emotions. In the first stage, Clock Town, he faces the stage of grief. The first stage of grief. It's denial, a defensive mechanism against ill circumstances typified by an inability to rationally acknowledge that something has happened or is happening. God damn it, it's in my throat. <clears throat> Link arrives in Termina through the clock tower, which takes ever on. Uh, Shut up, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> which takes ever onward and is gone down to the Carnival of Time, the great and the kind of game festival that comes each harvest time. As the people live out their everyday lives, running errands, making appointments, and standing up for the carnival, an ominous moon looms overhead, threatening to crush the whole land. Because of his Deku scrub form, what the fuck? You know what's funny? Before you continue, I said make it sound depressing. You made it sound like it was an action packed movie. I don't care. God damn it, Randy. And I don't got no. Whatever, continue. Because of his Deku scrub form, Link is confined in terms of where he can go and what people are willing to tell him. But a visit to the mayor's office reveals an important struggle between brewing. That's one fucking bad typo. Brewing! It's not B E W I N G. Oh my god, do you have to be Nick Picky right now? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just beneath the surface of all the going- ALL THAT'S GOING ON! Can these people not type in English? Okay. Can you subconsciously do it in your head? Fine, anyway. So I'm guessing this is a mayor's voice. The mayor says, You cowards, do you actually believe the moon will fall? Are you trying to make him sound like Van Diesel? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know! How does the mayor look? Is he fat? No, he's a picture cowardly. You cowards! Do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused town folks simply cause panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want the answers? The answers at the carnival should not be cancelled. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Bison. We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit about it against sound because I'm a fucking coward talking about cowards. Yeah. I can't wait to see your Lord moment. I really can't wait to see that. <laughs> Why are you gonna be criticizing me? I have not. I have yet to see Bioshock, and I can't wait till you do that Lord moment. So I, fucking Bioshock 
Let's let's play in Bioshock because yeah. Anyway, if you could be Squidish, I I I'll, I'll be proud of you. I should punch you in the face compared to Squidish. <laughs> you know you want to be Squidish. I want to, but he I can't. You see, he's too awesome, and I'm. Too <laughs> I'm such a fat fuck, I can't be squiddish. <laughs> anyway, what seems like a petty squabble between bureaucrats, we can actually interpret as a metaphor for denial. The Carnival Committee, unwilling to acknowledge and account for the looming danger, choose to ignore it rather than deal with it. They laugh openly at the idea that the moon will fall and refuse to allow it to interfere with the carnival. Similarly, whoa. Similarity. Whatever. Mm -hmm. The Master of the Sword Training Center entertains the idea that the moon comes too close. He can simply cut it to pieces with his blade. In both cases, we see an inability to grasp the reality at hand and foolish fantasies arising to take its place. The denial can only, can only ever be temporary, however. Eventually, most of the Carnival Committee is forced to face the music as the moon, drawing ever closer with each passing hour, gradually becomes more and more difficult to ignore. Because he's he's fucking ugly. Have you ever seen the moon? Yo. Oh, it's turn away against us, damn. Well look at its ass. It, yo. <laughs> look at that shit. Look at that. Look at his nose. His nose he has Kendall's nose, because it's pointing all the way out, even though you anyway. Where am I up to again? <clears throat> Ow. Okay. Um, by the night of the third day. I keep changing all the voices. By the night of the third day, all of the carpenters and merchants have evacuated, leaving only Muto and all of his st stubbornness behind. The Swordmaster has retreated to a back room where he lies, trembling in fear and despair. In contrast, Blink spends his every waking hour in pursuit of Skull Kid in hope that he can retrieve his Orkina of time before it's too late. By midnight on the third day, his efforts has eventually brought him to back to the top of the clock tower, where he stands face to face with the giant moon. But armed as he is currently is, he has no way of stopping it. And in the end, he too is forced to enact a sort of denial by using the Song of Time to reverse the flow of time, undoing the events that add up to the Great Fall and giving him himself a second chance to set things right. Uh, 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 disclaimer, it's not actually second chances, it's actually... <coughs> it's like 2,800 times. Yeah, cause Link, Link sucks. He can't save, he's not Superman. Continue. You good? No! I'm dying over here. <sighs> Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you was dying like that. I got stabbed in numb. Nah, nah, that makes sense. Anyway. 